anxious to get started. Um, Jay, um, Chris kind of mentioned it, and I think I know you've addressed it in the past, but run defense, how, how first off, how does it develop during training camp, and then how big of a key is it to do uh, better at stopping the run this year? Well, it's, it's come along well during training camp. I think it's an ongoing process. Uh, you, you never really know exactly where you're at until you start playing some other people. Sometimes it's tough to assess when you're playing your own team. Different guys being banged up in and out of the lineup. Some two, some ones going against each other. It's tough until you can really get out there and get in the, the heat of the battle and, and figure it out. But I think we've made good progress there, and it's crucial to our success. Um, I think everything that we do has to start with our ability to defend the run and be successful at that because really a set up good third down scenarios and establishing the opportunity to get takeaways and all those things really come off of forcing people into longer yardage situations and better you know down and distance scenarios for you so uh, if you can't stop the run obviously it's usually a long day now that training camp's over how much better do you feel about your defensive line depth uh, i mean what have you seen from those younger guys they're going to have to fill those rotational roles well, they're making baby steps. There's progress coming. It never comes as fast as you want. And, um, you know, again, I think some guys are going to step up into the, the game day scenario and, and probably elevate their game and play a little better than maybe expected they could just because it's a game. Uh, the guys who have been playing and we've been talking about all along, you know, the, the, those top tier guys have, have done well and continue to improve. And, um, you know, I feel very comfortable with where they're at. Again, I guess I would say you know, with any of those other guys that we're looking to come, uh, you know, take some um, reps and, and be role players, uh, we'll know a lot more about them after we get through the game. But there's been progress made through camp. We just got to keep on pushing through. I, I was talking about the D line heading into the year. Have you seen improvement by any specific guys there, or as a, as a unit in general? Well, I think all the all the guys who are coming back who played a year ago have improved, uh, and that's really where it starts. You don't want to just look at whether or not your backups who have improved and whether or not they're ready to come and contribute or not. You're also looking to see if the guys who started to play a lot a year ago have improved. And you know, I think whether you're looking at Wilkins or Will Prevalone or you know, um, you know, uh, Julius or any of those guys, you know, they they've all they've all improved and uh, they've all gotten better and uh, some of the guys we haven't had very very many looks at yet because they just got here in the spring uh, coming off of red shirts or injuries or whatever and so you know, we'll have to have to assess that as we go but uh, collectively as a group they've gotten better and uh, hopefully they, they will uh, show Saturday that, that, that they have made those strides and improvements and uh, we've got to just continue on once we get through that ball game and really get ready to just keep on getting better by the week. Um, Texas State came to starting quarterback today. Uh, any thoughts on Willie Jones? Uh, have you seen enough film of him? Looks like a dual threat, I guess. Boy, yeah, I have more than I wished. <laughs> <laughs> Good football player. And, um, you know, shared time, as you mentioned, a year ago. And now has apparently been given the reins to run the offense. But a very, very athletic guy. Uh, elusive, quick, um, agile, fast, you, you name it. When it comes to movement skills, those descriptions all fit him. Uh, he's going to be a handful because of, you know, just his uh, superior athletic ability. So we'll have to do a great job uh, in the run game, being able to get him tackled and not getting outnumbered in the box. We'll also have to do a great job in the pass game, trying to keep him in the pocket and uh, not let him get out, get those extra yards that uh, you sometimes see guys make off, uh, you know, impromptu kinds of plays or being able to extend the play and find somebody open down the field on a scramble route. All those things are, are issues when you deal with a quarterback like that that has those kinds of movement skills. Good player. Generally, the defensive coaches have a pretty good view of the program's quarterbacks. I'm curious if there's something you saw from Art that really impressed you either during the spring or during training camp that made you say, wow, this guy's a good player. Um, yeah, I, you know, my impressions are he's just mature beyond his years. And um, I think anytime you see a freshman step up, and have the opportunity that he's going to have, that's probably going to be the case. Uh, you know, he had shown a lot of poise back there and really good leadership skills for a brand new player to any program, especially at that position. That's been really impressive to me. Any other questions? I was going to ask, uh, weak side linebacker, I know Tyshawn's been banged up, Trevor missed some time in the spring. I mean, where do you kind of stand there? How do you make sure that both guys are on the field enough to be productive? 
Well, yeah, they, they both have had uh, little injury. I say little injuries, you know, some some injury factors here and there. But fortunately, right now they're both healthy and uh, practiced uh, at 100%. Uh, you know, intensity and so forth here uh, within the last few days, so they'll be ready to go. Uh, we just have to manage those reps throughout the course of the game, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, set a plan for that probably Thursday is when we usually talk about that and solidify it with the guys. Uh, but I do expect them both to play. And, uh, you know, once we get through game one, then we'll reset the, the plan for game two, and then that'll be an ongoing thing, just like it is in any other position where we're looking to play uh, more than one guy. Okay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.